Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play Pico 8 video. And today we'll be playing Slime Bubble Bro, which is another platformer in the vein of uh, Bubble Bobble and those sort of games. In the arcades back in the day, you know, the likes of Rodland, Snow Brothers, things like that. If you like those games, you'll like this. So let's get into it. Right, so you control this little slime, and you have to get your, get these enemies into bubbles, and burst those bubbles. Of course, if you hang around too long, then they come out of the bubbles, and then they're, they're pissed, and they come after you. Uh, and you rinse and repeat, different levels, different enemies, and so on and so on. I actually got quite far on this, but I have to reset the cart just so I can show you from the beginning. So you get the idea. So of course different enemies behave differently. You gotta factor that in. If a neighbouring enemy gets caught in a bubble of an enemy you're trying to kill, then they both get caught up in it. You can use that to your advantage and to chain combos and things. So there's a lot of strategy to it. For what it is. Yes, you can use the bubbles to shield oh shit, to shield yourself from enemy attacks as well. Which is a tactic you definitely need to use later on. Very bad word there. Yeah, that one. There we go. Gotta be careful because you've got infinite lives, but the more time if you die too much, you get a negative score. As you can see above there, I have a negative score. You want to avoid that because it's not a good look. So yeah, what to say about the game? It's a great game. I like it. It's very well done. Graphics are good. Music's good. And it plays very well. The guy who made this is one of the uh, Pico 8 luminaries. I'll put his details in the um, description. Oh, see that? Nice little chain there.
So yeah, not really much more else to say about this game, really. Um, what you see is what you get. It is only one player, um, and unlike games like Bubble Bobble and that, though, there's no power ups or anything. But you know, I don't think this game is any the less better off without any of that stuff. It's got everything it needs. No, a two player mode would be pretty cool. But yeah, you see, it get, you get pretty hectic later on. The bullets constantly raining down on you, and you got to try and find a way to get to the enemies. interesting about this is that it's got that kind of bubble bubble type of vibe to it but it feels a lot like a shooter but if you're constantly avoiding all these bullets you know it does feel it's like a bubble bubble cross to the bullet hell shooter so it's an interesting interesting combination nice mix again it would be Great to see this game get picked up by um, one of the big boys. You can see it on the uh, on a, um, PSN or like a Nintendo store or something like that. Who knows? Guys should be homing the likes of Pico 8 for potential um, game ideas and game designers. That's what I do. I worked for one of those companies. Hope some of these guys, huh? They deserve it. End this video in a moment, but I'm gonna see if I can try and do the stage first. So just so yeah, it can get hectic. You really do have to be on your shit, but once a tire turns in your favour, then you can. Really start to make a difference. <clears throat> now I'm just determined to get the fuckers now. Just out of principle. Yeah, fuck you. And, oh, boss. Maybe I should just do this boss first. No. Thank <laughs> you. 
me saying I was going to end the video, and here I am, still playing, I'm still talking. But no, seriously, I. This is going to be the last stage, honest. Yep, that's it. So that's Slime Bros for you on Pico 8. Good game. Very good game, in fact. Incredibly polished. Comes highly recommended. Another reason to take the Pico 8 seriously, I'd say. Hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time, and thank you for watching.